They call me slow. They call me too short. They call me overrated. It's lunch time. They said I was only talented when I was young. They say I'm just a celebrity. Starring role in the NFL commercial. They say I got an ego. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm more than what the haters say. I'm taller. I'm stronger. I'm faster. And I'm just not letting the noise get to me. They call me the most famous 12 year football player, but I've grown. Look at me now. Today we're at the Huntington Beach Sports Complex, and I'm going to be training with Coach Grant. There he is. What's good, Coach? Good to see you. You too, man. Let's get to it. Yes, sir. Let's click on, then we'll get rocking. Yes, sir. First game, when is it? August 18th. 18th? Is that zero or one? Like week zero? zero? Week, week zero? zero, yeah. I decided to transfer to losing here because I feel like it's the best situation for me, and I've been known to coaches for a very long time, and they get players D1, so and I'm trying to go to D1. All right, let's get to it, man. All right, man. You actually got warm up today, huh? Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yes, I hate warming up. For all my coaches, like I said, Coach Graham, my speed coach, they know that I hate warming up. It's a big pet peeve of mine. I just like to get on the field and get the workout over with. I, I got a little bigger. You did get bigger. I did get bigger. You got a little faster too. Facts, facts. Yeah, yeah. Tattoo. I got my mom's name tattooed on me because like I said, I wouldn't be here at all without my mom. And she's really the greatest person in my life. So first we're starting off with the stick drill. It just works on me cutting outside the DB's frame. Yeah. Good. 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 Okay, so you're gonna be here, hands behind your back. You're just gonna fall into it, same thing we normally do. But instead of being on one foot, what you're gonna do is you're gonna fall and then you're gonna balance here. Good, nice job. Good, nice work, good. Good, you think my hair is ugly, bro? Huh. I think, cause bro, cause people keep, Maybe you could I use a, you, could, you could use a trim. No! <laughs> cause like, people keep saying like, like, bro, like, it's getting too, like, Long? wild. No, just wild. I it might, doesn't look bad. I want to I want to get it twisted, like, actually, like, get actual dreads. Dreads? But I don't know how, think like... Think I could pull off dreads? No. Never do that in your life. Please. Okay. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with my hair, bro. I've been talking to my mom about, like, she want me to get it twisted and turn it into dreads, but I want to just keep it free form. So I don't know. Set, go! Yep. Good. Way to finish, good job. Set, go! Yep, good. In and out, in and out. Yes, way to react. My goals for him are to probably receive for like anywhere from 800 to 1,000 yards, you know, double digit touchdowns and just make plays all over the field. I, I think it's, this is kind of like his coming out year and, I, and I'm pretty excited for it. That's definitely, definitely what I want to see from him. Obviously, he's a he's a big name kid, popular guy. I, I think him just staying focused and keeping the main thing the main thing, which is football, which is what got him here. I think all the other stuff is going to continue to grow. So that's the best advice I could give him. In COVID, I was this close to like I don't want to play football no more. This close. COVID was terrible for me. I'm not gonna lie. That was like one of the worst times. I don't even want to speak on that. Like, it was terrible, bro. COVID was like a, it was not a good place because like you were at the house. It was just like, couldn't do nothing. I didn't like the football team I was playing for. I just wasn't enjoying football no more. It, it got to where it was a job instead of having fun, and I didn't want to do it no more, so I almost quit during COVID. But El Segundo, in a way, Coach Mike and El Segundo, in a way, kind of saved, like, changed my life and like saved it for the love of the game for me. So I really appreciate Coach Mike and uh, El Segundo. And my mom also. Shout out to my mom, for real. Yes. She helped, she helped that too. My mom was a uh, great support with me through that time. Um, she just stayed in my corner. She always encouraged me. And honestly, she didn't care if I quit or if I still play football. She was always gonna be there for me. If athlete ever tell you that, oh, I never wanted to quit the game, he is lying. I, you still have days where you be like, bro, do I really wanna do this? Like, do I really wanna keep playing? Everybody has them days, and I had them days to this day. I'll be done. Uh -huh. I'll see you, man. Yes, sir. Yep. Take care, coach. So today we're at B-City Crowd. I'm gonna go do some treatments back to back. I'm in the boots, uh, the compression boots, just doing my recovery on my legs. My legs been hurting, so we doing recovery. Do you remember the moment when your name became well-known? The moment uh, my name became well-known is um, my first UTR video. That's when everybody started uh, watching me and knowing who Bunchy was, so yeah. I remember people coming up to me. I was, I was like nine years old, so that nine-year-old people was coming up to me 
asked me, oh, is that you the kid from YouTube, you the kid from YouTube? I didn't like the attention at all because I was really young and I didn't really know like why all these people was coming up to me and stuff like that. And so to the day I still struggle with that, but I've gotten a lot better because I'm older. How the Super Bowl came about is um, one of my good friends, he told me about they had auditions um, and I went to the auditions and I killed it and they gave me the role and that was really nerve wracking. I'm not gonna lie, the whole Super Bowl, every scene we shot, I was really nervous because our director, shout out to Max, he was a he was a guy that he, he like he wanted perfection, so that was really nerve wracking for me. After the Super Bowl commercial, um, in the football aspect, a lot more people knew me, and it was like a lot more people was trying to gun for me and stuff like that. And they was like, oh yeah, it's a Super Bowl kid, so they was you know that was the bad thing about it because when you when you like have a a lot of fame in the football world a lot more people is gonna be after you and a lot more people, like if they make a play on you, oh yeah, I made a play on a Super Bowl kid, so you know, you know how that goes. You just gotta learn how to block it out. You just gotta learn how to block out all the noise and stuff like that. Everything that I've did has taught me a lesson and has molded to me what I am today, so I am very good, I have no regrets. All right, it's time to get in the cryo. Let's get it. I'm really not nervous to go in it at all. You only there for three minutes. Once you get past that first minute, it's the breeze. So we pin on, basically we pin on the socks and the mittens because when you get in there, um, it's gonna be negative like 200 degrees so you can get a frostbite real easy. It's a for, <laughs> for real. If you've done this a few times, you know yeah. what to expect. It's crazy how the body can withstand temperatures of negative 200 degrees. That's crazy. So far, so good? I'm so smooth. <laughs> it's cold as hell, though. I missed the sauna. <laughs> Shorts, they got frost on them. Like when you get out the car, I can feel like my legs feel a lot better. Cause when I um when I like I said I practiced yesterday, so my legs was real tight and like they kind of loosened up and they they feel a lot better. Like they not really hurting no more. All right, it's time to go hoop with the homies. We're at El Segundo Rec Park. Trying to play a 2v2 basketball game. Look at, look at this guy. Why do you have Air Force on? Are you dad going to hoop an Air Force on? Bro, Axel, what are you doing, bro? I cannot have you on my team looking like that. My friends, I love my friends. Axel is a great guy. He's always there. Deuce is funny. He going to get you laughing. Micah like, is a great guy, too. They all funny, bro. They all going to get you laughing. I love my friends. For this game is me and Dude versus Axel and Michael. <laughs> Bussy is fun, athletic, you know, willing to willing to have more friends and a great guy. Call him. Go on. Oh yeah. Oh. No. Oh yeah. to me. Without my friends, I don't know what I would be doing right now. It was extremely hard to find real friends. There's so many friends that I stopped talking to or stopped being friends with because they just tried to be friends with me for clout and it was a, it was a big issue with me and friends. So I'm glad I found a good friend group. I feel like my friends is real because they have, you don't, you would never hear about them talking about how my back and they express that they always hear from me and they love me. Basketball, yes, it is my favorite sport. A lot of people don't know that about me. Um, football is my second favorite. I just suck at basketball. I'm not good. So, you know, I don't play it, but yeah. I feel like my competitive side comes out in basketball. That's just like all day. Yeah, that works. Damn! Oh, yeah. Bro! I know you can see that. Bro, he had my leg in the lock between his thighs. And one. Should've do so, should've do so. Yeah! <laughs> That's the game. 11 3. We won. Let's get it. A bunch of gave me a call today earlier and said, Let's go. Um, you know, I told them it's all about execution. Came out and we executed. And yeah, 
I say the best player has to be Bunchy. Yeah. Bunchy's the best player out here. I appreciate you dudes, but I don't really think I'm the best out here. It's you, bro. You, you're the best for sure. I'm out here at the beach today. I just came out here to get some peace and quiet. This is a great place to come here and think about life. Uh, I spend my time usually at my house or with my homies, just doing stuff, dealing with fame. You know, that's a big thing because, like, when you go places, people are always coming up to you. And sometimes it's, it really gets hard. Like, people that hasn't ha doesn't have a lot of fame think it's just easy. Like, you just go places and do a lot of stuff. But it gets really overwhelming sometimes. I love engaging with my fans and talking to my fans. Um, like I said, it gets overwhelming, but it's whatever. It's, you have to do it. Because I wouldn't be nowhere without the fans right now. Like, if everybody wasn't watching my videos, if people wasn't viewing stuff, I wouldn't be here. So I appreciate all of them. And that's a wrap. Wait, how you do it? <laughs> Yo fam, Overtime refuses to miss this year. The drops are nonstop, and we're just getting started. Get like me and cop all the fits. All you gotta do is click the link below and make sure you stay looking out for all our drops.